let's say I had the system of equations that look like this. X plus Y plus Z equals 4. Also, I have 2X plus Y minus Z equals 1. Okay. And then lastly, I have 2x minus 3y plus z equals 1. Okay? Well, first of all, notice that you have three equations and three unknowns. So that makes it more difficult. But in the end, what I want you to realize is it's not too bad. What you need to do is you need to employ the techniques that we've used, but you have to do it twice. You have to use this pair of equations to eliminate a variable, and then use this pair of equations to eliminate a different variable, and then you'll, you'll be able to see as we go through it how that helps you solve the problem. Okay, but you need to basically do the addition method on, on one pair and addition method on another pair, and then move forward. So let's do that. Okay. What I like to do is draw curly braces to remind myself what I'm working with. I'm going to work with this pair of equations now. Okay. Notice that if I just add these two equations together, the z's are going to cancel immediately for me, which I, I love. Anytime you see something that's going to cancel, you want to work with that. So let's do that. If I add up the left, I'm going to have x plus y plus z, which is just this right here, plus this, which is just 2x plus y minus z, all I've done is add this right here, equals 4 plus 1. Okay, well right away you know the z and the negative z are just going to disappear. Okay, so I can just make that clear by drawing a line through both of those because look, neither one of those are going to stick around because they just cancel out. But the x, when you add it with the 2x, is going to give you 3x keep working in blue here so that we can keep track of things. You're going to have 3x, okay? The y and the y over here is just going to give you 2y, and then that's going to leave you with 5 on the right, okay? So, notice we've taken these two equations, which had three variables, and we've done our magic and we reduced it to an equation still in two variables, okay? So, that's good, okay? The next thing I want to do is I want to work with these two equations. Okay, I'm going to work with those down here. Again, I notice if I add these equations, the z and the negative z are going to cancel. And I like that, so I'm going to, I'm going to press with that. So what I'm going to have is on this side, in fact, let's uh, change color so that we know that we're doing something a little different here. We're going to have 2x plus y minus z plus, and then I'm going to add this in, 2x minus 3y plus z equals 1 plus 1. Like this. 2x plus y minus z, this. Um, okay, and then you add this, 2x minus 3y plus z, okay, equals this, okay. Again, I notice right away that the negative z here cancels with the positive z there. And that's exactly what I was